Hi everybody. I had a request recently from someone who watched my video on the literature matrix to do a video on Mendeley, which is an online uh, reference manager research note capturing type of tool. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes to do that quickly. But before we go in and look at Mendeley, I want to show you um, what I did, which was a little bit more manual. Uh, so you can kind of connect and reference to what Mendeley can do. So in my literature matrix, which is an Excel file, which is not everybody's preference and that's totally fine, I captured some key information up here at the top about each of the articles, research method, design, target populations, country, sample size instruments, and then I made notes about findings and future research. The other thing that I did was in OneNote, where as I was reading through articles and seeing themes pop out, I started building that out and taking those notes in OneNote. This worked for me. It does not work for everybody, but this is just kind of how I captured my notes, some key things and some important themes that started to emerge. And you can see, you know, Martinez et al. 2019 on page 1050, this was a really interesting statement that I wanted to pull out that I would potentially paraphrase for my dissertation. And you can see I kind of grabbed all those from Shaw, Slot and Toth, etc. Okay, so when we go to Mendeley, I want to just kind of direct you to what you can do in Mendeley that I did in Excel and OneNote. So if you'd prefer to do it online, that's perfectly fine. That's totally up to you. This is not an in-depth exploration. I'm just going to kind of touch some highlights. This is a free account, so you can go in and play and test it out and see how it works for you. When you first log in, you have the option to search for articles that you can then add to your Mendeley library. If you already have a collection of downloaded PDFs, you have an opportunity to upload them. I went ahead and did that with all of the PDFs that I used for my study. So you can see they're listed here. It'll flag duplicates for you and kind of put it in their own folder. So you'll have like a master reference list, which is what this is. And then you'll have kind of some filtered or sub list that you can go in and look at. You can also build out collections of articles. So if you want a collection of articles on qualitative research, methods like how you do it and research related to qualitative methods, you can do that. If you want a collection of articles on your one of your variables or each of your variables or the phenomenon that you're studying, you can create those collections here on the side. Okay. The, the thing that I find really cool um, is when you click on an article, you'll have this page on the side. So you can read it, you can add tags, and this is where I want to draw you back to the literature matrix. So here is where you could tag the research method. Is it qualitative or quantitative? You could flag the research design. Is it correlational? Is it uh, linear modeling? Is it any of these, you know, MANOVA, the type of statistical analysis that they did, the type of qualitative study? Is it phenomenological? You can tag the theoretical framework. You can tag the target population, country, etc. So if you wanted to go in and look at studies that were like yours, that were phenomenological, that were conducted in the US, you could pull up studies that you had tagged based on that information, okay? So that's how you can use the tags. The other thing that I find really cool is the annotations and the notebook, okay? So you can annotate, you can build pages in your notebook, right? So go back to OneNote. You can build out these pages and pull in these references, and I'll show you how to do that. So let's open up Tang et al. Um, I was playing with this a few minutes ago. So you can see, you can highlight areas, you can add comments, you can add this to the notebook. So let's add this, choose a page. We're going to put this in, we're going to create a new theme. Okay. Oops, I can't spell while you're watching me type. Okay. 
So add a notebook. There it is. Okay. So it just pulled this over. And you can keep going as you're reading. You know, if you have a comment, you can add a comment here. Love this graphic. Could I create a version for my study? Okay. Again, you're watching me type, so I can't type. I can't spell. So you can add your comments in here. Uh, you can annotate. So as you're going along, you know, could Bandura, oops, I'm still, I'm still on the comment. Okay, so let's come back here. Let's add a note about Bandura. Okay, I'm going to highlight it. And then um, I'm going to add a general note that he's a seminal author. Okay, so we know that Bandura is a seminal author of self-efficacy or confidence. All right, so we've got that. Keep going. So you can add your notes, and when you come back to your library, if you want to go in and look at your notebook, you can just pull it up and you can see everything that you've added to the themes. And then you can click on that and you can go directly to where it is in the article. What's really great about being able to click on this quote and go to the article is you can double check to make sure that you are not misinterpreting a phrase. Okay, so for some of us who got feedback from our dissertation chairs, they're like, that, that, that's not what the author's saying. You can go back and double check it, make sure that you're interpreting what they're saying correctly. Okay, so that's one way that Mendeley makes things a little bit easier to move back and forth between your notes between your tags and your articles and where in your article your notes are. So I hope this is helpful. Again, this is not an in-depth review of Mendeley, but it'll kind of give you an idea of the capabilities. You can also look at Zotero, Z-O-T-E-R-O. -E That's another tool very similar to Mendeley. Anyway, I hope this is helpful for you and good luck with your dissertation work and I will see you around.